Now, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Academy of Financial Trading's Foundation Trading and Investment Program. My name is Alex Lyon. I'm on today's bonus lesson, we've had a few requests now about the trade competition. So if you recall, I announced the trade competition at the end of lesson four. Whoever can place the most profitable trade in between now and lesson eight, which is coming up now in two weeks' time. Uh, we'll get a bit of a shout out. They'll have bragging rights, we'll call it, you know. It's really just a bit of incentive to get you guys on the platform and, and, and start trading. So I thought it'd be best to just go through a few markets, place a few trades, close the trades, and then take a screenshot, which is essentially what you guys need to do for the demo competition. And obviously send all your winning close trades, close trades, very important, to FTP. So, Foxtrot, Tango, Peter, because <laughs> my phonetics aren't very good, at academyft.com, which is also where all of your questions or anything else about the course, where all your queries essentially go. So, guys, our, obviously our platform in front of us needs no introduction. We've seen these already. Now, remember, the trade competition is only forex so it's only currency pairs why is it only currency pairs i'm sure you already know because remember the foreign exchange market has no central exchange no physical locale meaning that you can trade for seven oh sorry excuse me five days a week but 24 hours a day took me a second there to remember so guys remember it has to be a currency pair now, obviously, this is what your platform looks like when you download it or when you get it for the first time. So let's have a look now at Euro Swiss Franc. Obviously, you can see quite a bit of a move there in the last while. Quite volatile, fantastic looking market. So let's place a few trades now, shall we? So for the competition, it doesn't matter if you're going long, it doesn't matter if you're going short, once the trade is ultimately closed. So just a friendly reminder, we right click, we open up our trading box with our new order window now on lesson four i showed you how to set your default trade size to 0.01 or a micro lot i'm going to quickly show you again because it is fantastically handy it's a good way to get yourself in to the mindset of trading on a live account so you don't pick up bad habits while you're on the demo platform i know it's fake money Unfortunately, you do not get 10,000 euro to trade with, but the whole idea is that you treat it like a real account. It doesn't matter how many zeros are at the end of your balance. So remember, guys, we go to uh, tools, we go to trade, and then we go to default. So this would have initially been one lot. We don't want that. What happens if you accidentally execute an order? So we go for 0 0.01, which is exactly what the trade competition must be. They must be a micro, uh, yeah, micro lot. So 0 0.01. So we hit OK. And obviously this would be in a, the same aspect of trading 1,000 euro. So I just want to make sure we're all clear on that. If it was a mini lot, it'd be the equivalent of trading 10,000 euro. If we were trading one whole lot would be the equivalent to 100,000 euro. So this is exactly why you should set up a smaller lot size in your default settings, which I just showed you there. Now the place to trade, very straightforward. We right click, we go to trade, and we go to new order again to get up your uh, order box. Now we've already set our volume, which is 0 0.01 for the sake of the competition. So we're going to go trade comp because it's good to get into the habit of keeping tabs on absolutely everything. Now remember, guys, there's going to be a lot of trial and, trial and error. It's going to be a lot of guesswork. We don't expect anybody to have a full understanding of how this platform works after four foundation level lessons. Okay, So don't worry. The whole idea is just so you can start analyzing a few markets, get into them, and see how it goes. So what we're going to do, we're going to enter this market now. You don't need to worry too much about a stop loss. And the reason for that, guys, is because it's only the platform it's only for the competition so we're going to buy into this market there we go now you do want to make sure you do have a stop loss at the current price guys so like i showed you we can do a one click trading here we can pull it down now we can see uh, as of today this lad here this uh, this uh, bullish candlestick he's been moving quite well so you want to keep an eye on him so we're going to take our stop loss down 
The best way to do it, ladies and gentlemen, from a complete beginner's perspective, is to maybe give it twice the width of that particular candlestick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it down to around here. So that means that if that stop loss is triggered today, tomorrow, whenever, we are only going to lose uh, 390, uh, sorry, 39 pips or three euro and 71 cent in this particular instance, okay? So it does it all for you, it tells you everything you need to know. So that's, that's nice and fine there. That is your trade all set up good to go. Now we can see it down here in the bottom. Here we go. We are minus 39 cents, obviously because of the spread that brokers need to eat at the end of the day. So what we do is to close the trade, we hit this. Hit the X button, close the trade. Obviously you want the trade to go as long as possible or as long as it's profitable, we'll say, in between now and the final lesson. So what we'll do is we go into account history, which is down the bottom here. I'll just mark it so we're all on the same page. And once done, you can see, scroll down to the bottom, and that is where the close trade will be. So minus 37 cents. Not a massive loss, but a loss all the same. But losses do occur in trading. It's something you have to train yourself to deal with. So 39 cents, so what we'll do is we'll take a little snippet of that. I'm sure you guys have your own means of taking snapshots. I use snipping tool all the time. So we will go like this. So there we go. Then we will go to save. And then whatever you want to put it down as, we'll go Alex demo trade for comp and then we go excuse me there's always there we go AL. now we save it and then guys just send that to ftp at academy ft.com so ftp at academy ft.com for all your closed trades ftp at academyft.com and you have up until two hours before the final lesson so guys get trading hope you enjoy it and i'll see you all soon for the next lesson on behalf of myself and mr daly thank you very much for your time bye bye now